Let me see. Oh, here we go. Okay. So I didn't know if it was streaming or not. I had to check there quick. And add, 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 add. So. Okay. There we go. So I'll be working on this. Right. So. Um, kind of actually coming back to where I left off, that I was working on this guy's short shirt because he had a pattern like flower patterns on his shirt, but and I was just having trouble getting the patterns to look right. So instead, I'm gonna kind of go with my own kind of version of those patterns because I can't get it quite like my friend did. Uh, let's see here. I just kind of kind of go up like a crown flower look. So yeah, I just had a really good time with my friend today, and so I kind of, I wanted to, do, so I'm kind of just doing like a little light, fun stream for you all, uh, but I am planning something new coming up soon, so stay tuned for that, and also finally got my Halloween theme selected, so I'll be working on Halloween pictures. I don't know if I'll live stream those, because I want to keep them a surprise, um, but we'll see how those go. Also, one thing I want to do is kind of work a bit more in the background on this stream. I'm terrible at backgrounds. So I've been practicing. Had some references here for you know cafe backgrounds. I kind of tried to work those into a design. So. Okay, and I think the eyes look good for this one. I had trouble getting the eyes right on for this one, so let me see how I can smooth them out a bit. And I think I got the eyebrows right so that he doesn't look, you know, perplexed or stressed. So.
So here's, let me kind of pull out the background here. Try to do like kind of painting style, kind of rush painting style. Ugh, it's like a background, but everything counts as practice. I think I want to make this like floor cobblestone esque. Let me kind of pull out the colors here. All right. Green stuff's supposed to be shutters, but mm. all right. Windows, balconies, terracotta ish roofs. Um, I was like, there's one reference I saw that I really liked that I was using to uh, model this after, but I don't mm, don't know where it is. It was illustration I thought was really pretty. I should pull this up sooner. Yeah. Let me see. Mm. Anyway. Alright. So I guess I'll touch out the touch up the roofs a bit. Ah, what the nuts? Okay. Sorry about that. I'm on the right layer. Or was I? Oh, wait. Just make sure I'm not tied to a wrong layer. Oh, no, it's just not dark enough. Okay. Yeah, probably just keep it subtle. Be a little too subtle to see. The album is farther away, so at least I can get one that's a bit. Mm. I need to go for a thicker brush. Try dense watercolor. Yeah, that'll probably be better. Alright. Okay, that looks kind of bad. Terracotta roofs are nice. Not great to draw though, but <laughs> I don't even know if I think I'm doing this right. That's uh, not right. No, it's not. Okay. Whoops.
the most interesting part of the picture, but I want to at least have that detail added. And I gotta say, I've been, you know, having fun this weekend, getting things done. Uh, really just want to get this picture done because it's been on my to-do list for too long. Um, and you can find the other stream on Twitch. I'll probably post these two streams together tomorrow if I don't forget. So, all right. But yeah, I've just been you know, doing this and that. I've been, I've been needing to catch up on some shows. Got to start today. I watched... Um, and we, I want to talk about this. We, we watched, <laughs> I watched the new, um, the pilot of the Will and Grace reboot. And so my last stream on Wednesday, I talked about how I was kind of worried about how they would handle the new show based on the trailer kind of having some, had, the trailer had some worrying signs for me that might go too much into, you know, topical pop culture jokes which was a bad problem with the original show especially in the last seasons and um yeah the new the pilot at least kind of confirmed all those fears yeah it's it's it was kind of rough to watch that pilot episode it was really just trying too hard to be topical and go for you know, contemporary humor, and it's it's gonna be really hard to watch in a couple years. Harder than this to watch now, but I mean, seriously, in the first five minutes, we had you know, topical political jokes, topical, um, yeah, you know, subtle jokes, celebrity jokes. Um, but the worst part, the absolute worst part, was the totally, totally forced and awkward um, millennial. Um, slang terms just thrown in and just said with the absolute most, I mean, just absolute awkwardness on part of the characters just felt so forced and uh, and just really lame. And when I heard, um, when I heard Deborah Messing say woke unironically, I was like, oh no, this is, um, uh, this is this is not good, not good at all. And then another problem I, I addressed in my last stream was I was kind of worrying because the previous series ended on a high note. It was a it had a distant finale and it showed the characters, you know, as you know, it showed Will and Grace married to their respective partners, uh, having children, and still having but still rekindling their their friendship after years apart um, in the end. And it was very sweet, and it was it ended the series after, on a very lovely high note. So I was kind of wondering how would they handle that. So the series ended, the series proper ended, showing us what would happen in the future. And now they are rebooting the show to take place in between end of the show and the distant finale part of the show. And they handled it in the most in the worst way possible, the absolute worst way. And I was shocked by how poorly this was done. So, you know, Karen spaced out for whatever reason. Well, high certainly, drunk and high. And she kind of addresses, "Oh, like I had the strangest dream that you two were married and had children with other with um, you know, other people." And then so, and they're like, yeah, that was a dream, though. You know, I, I, I think Grace says, oh, yeah, I was married, but I'm divorcing him now. So they just totally override, not just the final episode, but the final, like, like she was, okay. So in the final season, Grace got pregnant from a one night stand with her ex-husband, Leo, who she does remarry in the finale. So for a whole, for, for a large part of the season, she was pregnant. And so this in this new reboot, they completely override that she ever was pregnant. Not just like the end of the, like the scenes, like the the bit of the final episode where they see, oh, this is what they like what happens like 20 years later. No, they they, they override that and a large storyline in the final season just then and there. 
it just you know just really jarring to saying oh it was all a dream or oh it just never happens which is which just really felt like a bitch move but they just kind of i suppose for long time viewers like i was like i watched that show well kind of like more like i started a fit like with the when it was still airing new episodes maybe I season four four or five so i kind of came in late well quite late but i caught it back on like got caught up on syndication and all that and i was just really like uh, astonished by how kind of flippant they were about the about just overriding the finale and then some of the previous series and, and not helping at all was how bad like like 90 percent at least as probably being very generous of uh, the humor was just um pop pop culture jokes in this episode really lazy pop culture jokes just and they combine that by like taking a dump on a really you know heartwarming and pleasant finale to the show just really felt bitter to me i mean i understand that they were in a tough position because of how they ended the show the, the initial run um so their hands were tied and i don't know what they what they were thinking i mean something but now it just kind of seems pathetic that we're going to have to watch these people in their 40s will and grace especially still roommates single dating this this person that person you know even though they have respectable careers and all that and, and divorce is new or anything just but the way it's set up is that they just want it to be exactly where they were in the heart of the series and, and it in a very forced and contrived way i don't even know if you could call it contrived just it's certainly forced and and handled so sloppily and and with how the jokes went and the setup i mean okay there's fantastical realism which the show definitely falls into but this pilot episode went way too far with the real with the fantastical part so much so that um grace gets a job remodeling um not remodeling but redecorating the oval office because of a connection karen had which is just absurd and then um it was just, and also the whole episode was a rip off of a previous episode as well um because the plot and a previous episode from the ninth season too so not like, like the last season so not even a very good episode to rip off and a very recent one relatively recent one you know in line with the show where you know grace and will are trying to hide um doing something that they said they wouldn't from one another and it was just so and in the episode like the their whole argument climax of pillow fight in the oval office and it was just way too silly and i kind of should have you know had my hopes kind of lowered after i heard you know the commercial saying oh will and grace is funnier than ever and i'm just like mm. every anytime they say you know when they have those like really glowing reviews like in their ads i have to say how cherry picked are those i mean of course they always are but when they go that far then it's like oh yeah i'm not gonna believe you um i certainly don't believe them now just i mean i'll still watch but i'm not sure how long it'll be before i tap out on this reboot because it's it's it had a very very bad start for me so i mean it could get better i mean pilot pilot episodes are usually kind of awkward and are you know compared to the rest of the show but i guess we'll see how things go I, mean, I really want to keep watching but again i'll let i'll keep i'll keep you guys up to date and i'll let you know when i just can't take it anymore yeah i mean uh so yeah but in the comments and chat let me know what you guys think if you saw the will and grace reboot pilot It's a shame too, because Will and Grace is probably my favorite sitcom. It's just so I still find it funny. I really enjoy some episodes, certainly some episodes more than others, um, and it's just really fun to watch and comfortable to watch, and it had a good ending. So yeah. Also, another thing about it, I'm kind of 
and I was like, I was talking about a friend of mine, like the friend of mine I saw today. We had uh, Starbucks and Chinese. Um, she brought up an interesting point that the only people who really wanted the show were the main actors. And from this pilot episode, I get some because how how sloppy the writing was. I gotta be honest, I'm getting some Vanity Project vibes from it. And I don't, I mean, no disrespect to any of the actors. They're very talented people. But, like, as of the announcement of that of that reboot, like, I kind of, I kind of, you know, brings to wonder what, what were all those people doing before? And I know Deborah Messing had um, a cop detective show for a, a season or two. Don't really know much. I don't. I don't. I never watched it because I was like, eh, it's gonna be weird to see Grace going, going all single mom and detective stuff. So I was not gonna watch that. And but everyone else, like Megan Mullally, has been having having bit roles here and there. Um, I don't know what um, Sean Hayes has been doing or um, McCormin, Eric McCormin. Don't know if that's his name. Um, don't know what they've been doing at all. So, uh, guess they thought, you know, let's reboot this show. Might as well. And guess we'll see how it goes. Again, I'm just, I hope we'll get better, but we'll see. So that's my two cents. Stay tuned next time when I delve into the That's So Raven reboot. I really need to start watching those episodes. Have them recorded, and you'll watch them. Hello, kitty. Cat wants to say hello. Say hello to little Iggy. Now so it's exciting him. Hello. Cats running around.
Oops. Trying out this new brush. Let me find it again. It's been nice for kind of planted at distance. Not up on there though. You can't really see that one. Like in the reference I had, I had like a terrace. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can have like a little one here. I think a bit better. They try to make these look sort of like shutters.
let's see. I'm not sure how I feel about the sky. Hmm. Looks kind of rough. Hmm. 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 Yeah. It's almost like webbing. Eek. Okay, let me see. I can fix that. I want to see if we can just soften up. Um, okay, it's not gonna work. Okay. We want to be they're like a bit farther away, so I didn't even be as because I kind of like a transition, like dark, like closer up, dark, lighter, farther away, and then very hard to see. I don't know, <laughs> I'm very bad at backgrounds, but I'm trying, so it's really, really need to improve. So I just kind of want to ah, stop talking. One more episode of season three. I Rick and Morty coming up. Hope it's good. I don't know. I've been kind of. I've been really, really mixed on season three so far. Really mixed.
I'm gonna find that reference again so I can get a hold of what I missed. And then save it. Just kind of searched it on Google Images. I don't want to get that second screen soon. Ooh. My list of things I get next weekend. We'll see. I do have a second screen. Well, let me get that installed. Sorry, talking. Yeah. Oh, I'm in the wrong way. No. Oh, yeah, I'm right. Okay. Sorry. It's all on that layer. Touch up that window. Try to make it like it's midday and the sun's above them. Hopefully it works, but I'm not sure. Because that's how the shading, like the shading's are like coming down on them. Yeah, okay. I can always edit later. Where was that reference I found that I liked? It's a really cool painting. My eyes are bugging out. Oh. Thing of Google Images some yeah. Thing about Google Images sometimes it you lose things when it does new search. It just finds new things, it kicks out old things, that sort of deal. Right. I don't see it here. It's pretty disappointing. I'm gonna be able to find it eventually. All right. I, think I saw it this afternoon. Ah, it's gonna bother me anyway. Well, at least. Now I can get a cobblestone look here, see if I can try. At least have some kind of texture to the floor. No, not that one.
that probably won't work. I don't know if I need to do something for the ground there. It's on a flatter area. Hmm. Let's add some lines for texture. And over the kitty ran her off too. Here, another one of the kitties. Hope they're getting along. Alright. Oh wait, I have to fix these fingers. I'm not happy about that. Oops, no, I don't want to shrink. Oh, what the? I want to get a... Oh, that's a mistake. Doing the mouse for this, just kind of... Make sure I don't miss anything. Shading, of course. All right. I try to blur those. Oh, his fingers look kind of weird. Still. Yeah. Alright.
Well, I think that's good for now. At least on these, I want to get more definition of the shoes, but I need to find a good reference for that. Um, but other than that, I think it's good. I think this will probably be my stopping place for tonight. But I'll try to get this done and finish this uh, tonight and have it posted well, tonight. So stay tuned for that. And I want to thank everyone for watching live or later on YouTube. I uh, hope you guys subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube for more videos. So hopefully soon I'll get to a new game. Um, fingers crossed. And also, you know, yeah. So, yes, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.